The Vice Chancellor of Ambrosale University, Ekoma, represented by the Deputy Vice Chancellor Administration, who introduced the 109th inaugural lecturer, acknowledged the relevance of mathematics to national development while also admitting the phobia of many students to the subject. For many of us in this audience, mathematics is or was a dreaded subject. An oracle scanner and a no-go area. The main mention of the word mathematics elicits Google spinballs in many and a certain fear and trembling. It's a subject conceived to belong to those who are not part of this world. But to the world of the surreal, the abnormal, the difficult, the usual the unusual, I beg your pardon, and the complicated. A professor of numerical analysis and scientific computing at the Department of Mathematics of the institution, Godi Agbebo, is said to reverse this trend and demystify the subject mathematics in his inaugural lecture titled Demystify Mathematics. He took students, parents and others through a teaching technique he outlined in alphabetical order to aid easy understanding of the subject. There is a lot to study, I mean to the study of mathematics, unknown to the ordinary man in the street. It may interest you to know that mathematics, though studied in formal institutions of learning, the practice is more formally and actively uh, carried out in a wider spectrum by people outside school settings. At home, the householder, by the process of addition and multiplication, depending on what he or she intends to do. Professor Agbebo, in his definition of mathematics as a study of relationships using numbers, shapes, statistics, and quantities, submitted that it can be used to proffer solutions to problems of population, such as crisis between farmers and herders in Nigeria. And so we came up with this uh, formula and told, in fact, we published the work, and till tomorrow, I'm not too sure the federal government is looking at that, and that's why we see that. See, because if, if what I said was taken seriously, the idea of kidnappers would be reduced. The idea of farmers fighting, I mean, uh, hesitant fighting farmers would be reduced. But that was not taken into consideration. Participants at the lecture commended the initiative of Professor Agbebo to ease understanding of mathematics, urging the general public and government to put its research to use. We thank God for today, uh, all the press conferences, uh, we will see that he made a, uh, a remark, a lesson on the predator collector about uh, look at that theory, which he prevailed use in elders and farmers' classes, which he said the federal government can use to ensure that uh, uh, the, the menace and the effect of uh, arising from elders, uh, elders and farmers' uh, crisis are minimized or reduced in the country. That's a, a far message from the culture today we see. In fact, I never know my husband is a born teacher. See, this very moment, he has been telling you he's a born teacher. He has been telling me he's a born teacher, I never believe. But today I know he's a born teacher. That's why God is blessing him. Because he has brought up many graduates, many professors. And he's yet to bring up many by the grace of God. It was a really a heart provoking lecture. Please and open uh, has up. gone ahead to challenge those who are in the field on how best they can encourage the younger ones to come into the field of mathematics. I think not as difficult as we expect or as we think. It is very easy and very clear understanding for his teaching of today. Very, very good. So we should encourage our Remember, guests or children. Look at my man, as a very simple subject. The lecture is uh, quite uh, okay. A very fine gentleman who oh. will oh, tell us about the story of somebody who is from Okunoto That will have made me to change from whatever I have. It's a level that's called Mathematics. The 109th inaugural lecture delivered by Professor Gordi Ujagbe Agbebo is the third from the Department of Mathematics and 11th from the Faculty of Physical Sciences of Abmisale University, Ekboma, Edo State. Usiko Mesado 
AIT News, Benin. <laughs>